comes off of this battery. So it's, um, let's see if we can focus in here a little bit. Okay, so this one here, this corner right here, is a ground which comes off of this cable here. So the the last um, the last cable on this on this plug JST plug is ground. Now you better pay attention to the direction of this because it fits in a certain way. Um, so we're going to measure to get our cells in order. So this one we are able to um, either you know if you're going to reuse this again or uh, use another lipo which I'll show you but we're going to measure the voltages watch the ohmmeter um, that will tell you each cell so the first one first we're going to take our we're going to set it to voltage on our multimeter we're going to go ahead and put our ground plug and then the first one is going to be our first it's going to be three volts this is our four volt which is actually our first cell Okay, that's our second cell. Eight volts. We got our third cell. And then we got our fourth cell. Okay. So in order for this to work, these these lipos are wired the same exact way. So the easiest way to discover, because a lot of times you might see that even though this one has ground on it, I've seen where these, these are grounded and found out that the other side is ground. So you're going to notice this plug has these little edges on there. This one basically has um, the same thing. It's just a smaller plug. So I'm going to show you kind of on this one how this works. So let's try and see if it's the same for this light bulb. What we're trying to do is we're going to try to match up the plug this plug so that we can able to use it with the electronics that come out of the solar battery and then we'll be able to use any lipo battery any 4s battery for our our solo all right so let's go ahead and we're going to go ahead and um, take our ground wire we're going to go ahead and put the first one into the first slot which is our ground and you should be able to, the last one should be 16 volts. Let's see if I can get it to connect because sometimes you have to push kind of hard to get it to work. And it's not touching here. Okay, I'm not getting it to work. Okay, there we go. So that, that's our four cell there. And if we go backwards, it's going to go to 12 and then it's going to go to eight and then it's going to go to three okay so this is the same way this is hooked up except the plug is smaller so what i did is um, this particular battery here that i'm using um ended up messing up because i hooked it up backwards on here and it caused a little burning of the wire so I had to reconnect it so I said hey you know I didn't have any larger uh, JST plugs so I decided hey I've got some smaller ones um, that I've used for my telemetry radios for my Pixhawk my other drone that I made I said let me go ahead and use that and connect it to this because it's the same plug as this one so what I did I'm going to show you how this works this is pretty cool alright so let's go ahead and put this to the side here a little bit we're going to connect, uh, we're going to go ahead and connect um, this plug on this. This actually came out from the other battery where this came out. Once you pull this battery off, this plug actually goes, I think it goes this way. It kind of shows um, where you can actually see the connections. It slips in here like this. All right, see that? So we're going to do the same thing with this plug. We're going to plug it in fit in the same way and what I did was I actually put a T60 connector on the end for my lipo all right I'm not going to worry about this uh, temperature sensor right now because this thing 
Uh, you can't do it with this unless you take off the shielding off that I don't want to do that. Um, so we're going to go ahead and hook this up like that. And right now, basically, if I plug this in to the uh, solo, it's going to work. So we can actually turn this on right now um, and it'll power up. So you're going to see once I turn this on, you'll see the lights come on. All right, this battery, I just used it today because I've tested it for the first time and it worked very good. So right now, this is actually working. I don't know if I can, there we go. All right, so you basically just turn it off. I'm going to show you um, that I can actually plug this in to the Solo. So what I'm going to do is this unplug all this here. Be very careful as you're messing with this board. There's nothing on the back. So I decided to get a piece of tape to prevent me from touching the connections or anything metal to touch the connections and damage the board. So kind of put some tape on it here and let's get some more tape for this um, I've been wanting to do this for a while I just had to wait for the battery to really go dead and it finally decided to go dead last week I said okay it's my opportunity to go ahead and open this up um, I thought I was going to be really challenged with it uh, opening it up it wasn't too bad I mean it you, you gotta really be very easy with prying it open when uh, taking and opening up the the battery casing so generally you can see the edges here I just you know taking the screwdriver and kind of prying it slowly and just kind of pulling it you know prying it prying it and you got to use you definitely got to use a screwdriver with this with a small end on it pry it in there and just kind of turn it turn it turn it you know just like this battery I'm not going to do it this one but if you get it in here and you kind of push it down in there and twist it twist it twist it it'll come apart and you do it all the way around and it finally just comes apart so you can save the case so let's go ahead and uh, hook it up now this particular solo that I'm about to do once I put this in here I put double-sided tape on here um, so I can put this in here because this is going to go back into the solo uh, the battery obviously is, is, is way too big for this but my plans are to take and put this shell back on like this it's just going to be an open shell with the wires I'm, I'm planning to put the uh, t60 connector on the outside here make a actual hole so that it'll come out out of here and then i'm going to have my balance plug which is actually going to be the larger one it's going to be coming out i think i'm going to probably just have it you know glue it in there and have it tight so this way I can, all i have to do is just you know plug my um, balance plug in there and then plug my power from my battery in the same plug and then have it sit on top with velcro or something and fly with it like that and this is basically like an emergency pack so let's go ahead and put this in uh, the casing oops so here's how I had it done okay this is gonna go back basically the same way it came out it's gonna slip back in here and there is a certain way it fits and there's little notches in here that it fits back in here and once you get it in there it's uh, it's gonna stay okay I think I got it all right kind of this is double-sided tape just to keep it in place I didn't want to glue it in there because just in case I want to get it out and I did the same thing now with the button uh, board um, where the LEDs are they do have a clip on here which is actually you're gonna to have to break it um, to get it off and they have it in there real good so I just use double-sided tape put it back like that um, the sensor I'm just gonna leave in there like that I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm not gonna take it off leave it off All right so let's go ahead and get our solo now this particular one has a problem uh, I think the Pixhawk uh, controller is no good but this will turn on so you get to see how it works now this is going to show you it's going to plug right back into this place right here you know can't go wrong because you're putting it back the same way so generally you're whoops put it back in here like that All right. 
Now, when this piece gets put back together again, um, it's going to lock because there is a little lip right here. So once I'm thinking of probably putting a couple of spots of glue, you know, super glue on here just to keep it together, but enough where if I have to open it back up, I could. So I'm going to do that once I get this together. You know, like I said, this is not going to be hanging out. I'm planning to put it here and glue it and just stick my so it gets out of the way. I flew it earlier today and I had some GPS. Uh, it was actually the um, GPS I only got like seven satellites. Usually I get 20, 21 satellites out of it. And what was happening is, is because I was having it like this, it was probably causing magnetic interference with the compass. So I didn't fly it very far, just kind of in a circle and it worked great. Um, so we put it in like that. All right. And I'm going to show you, this is going to go back. This is going to plug in. Remember, the this plug here goes in. Let's see if we can do this here. Plug it in the same way. All right. And then plug in your LiPo battery. Okay. I don't have my controller right with me right now but you're gonna watch, it's gonna come on. So, you power it up, and voila, it uh, powers up. So now, you can actually use 